sure you like that house. It's just cool. This is a cool road. What's the name of this place? I think that was the town of Far Enough. What does that say? Toland. That's right, this actually used to be a toll road. In fact, it was a toll road that uh, some of the Mormons took in the migration to Utah. This is what they saw, the road they were on. It wasn't in the uh, first initial migration with Brigham Young, which I think was in 1847. But for several years after that, Mormons kept migrating out to Utah. And I don't really wanna get into religious debates much religious conversation at all and I don't judge people by their religions but I'll admit this I do judge religions by their people and even though I don't uh, believe everything the Mormons believe I do think they're a good people and therefore that religion can't be all that bad a story about Mormons from when I was much younger, like late teens, early 20s. I was uh, driving my Trans Am. I had a black Trans Am because Smokey and the Bandit's awesome. And uh, it was a piece of junk because old Trans Ams are pieces of junk. And it was overheating and losing a lot of fluid. And uh, finally got to the point where it was too hot to drive anymore and I pulled off down this road where I, I shouldn't have turned off this main road. And I coasted down this hill on this secondary road. And I, as soon as I did it, I regretted it. I was like, man, nobody's going to find me out here. But uh, before too long, a minivan, a family, and a whole bunch of kids came along and uh, the dad got out and asked if I was a uh, all right, and I said, yeah, I told him what my problem was, and he just ran back to the back of his minivan, and he pulled out two things of antifreeze, and he poured one in my car and gave me the other one to take with me in case I had any more problems, and uh, really saved my butt that day. I was like, man, I really appreciate it. He said, sure thing, and then he, he handed me a pamphlet, and it was a pamphlet for the... Uh, for the Book of Mormon. And he said, here, check that out sometime. And I said, okay, I will. And I'll put it in my jacket pocket. He went his way and I went my way. And there's no things like that that have happened in my life. I was like, man, I may not agree with them folks, but I think I'm better off for living in a world where they live too. And then the next day, I was uh, in town and Somebody's Chevy truck busted down, and uh, me and my brother helped push him out of the road. It was an old truck, and he was a good old boy, and had his brother with him too. And we were cussing that truck, but not in a way that he took offense to it, because that's just the way good old boys talk sometimes. And you know how it is. I'm like, what's wrong? He's like, oh, it's the carburetor. All oh, that piece of shit. Rochester carburetor. Whoever thought of putting vacuum secondaries is a dip. That kind of talk. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, we got him, we got his junk out of the road and finished cussing about it. And then I realized I just helped somebody, same way somebody helped me the day before, I was paying it forward. So I took the uh, pamphlet that was still in my pocket out and I handed it to him. I said, here man, check that out sometime. But anyways, that's my Mormon story. Over and out.